happy birthday to me. This video is totally not a week late. So yeah, um, kind of awkward situation. My birthday was over a week ago at the time of filming this. But uh, better late than never, I guess. So for my birthday, I made another visit to Trains and Toy Soldiers. Got a nice big bag. I also have this New York Central hoodie. This is also a present. And for you Pennsylvania fans, don't worry, I got that too. I'm a supporter of both sides, so don't start a war in the comments. Anyway, let's get into the haul. An Adern box. You're going to see a lot of these. If I can get the lid off. We have a New York Central box car. And these are these types of cars are very cheap. Less than less than 10 bucks each. Not exactly the most quality things in the world, but I mean, that's a pretty good deal. That many. Then of course, in typical fashion, the next one is a Pennsylvania box car. Big surprise. I might need to do a little bit of work on these, but I don't know. great, great deal. Now we're getting into the bigger stuff. Yes, all this is Athern. Ah. We have Santa Fe. Oh, shoot. Okay. Uh, I'll fix that up, don't worry. But uh, we have Santa Fe Pullman. Getting kind of into the older stuff. And last but definitely not least, I think you guys are going to get a kick out of this, if I can open the box. Dang it. Dang it, Athern. Ah! Okay, here we go. I think you guys are going to like this. The Daylight Dome Car. About time I got something SP Daylight related. And it looks like everything is intact. Well, that's great. And there are some little stickers that I can put on, but this looks amazing. Which is great considering it's less than $10. I mean, the bottom end is. Yeah, it's cheap, but very, very affordable to expand your rolling stock fleet. This looks great. So, I guess I better uh, get a closer look at these. So, here they are on the track then. Um, they do look nice. Uh, give that nice 20th century vibe, which I'm kind of trying to strive for, I guess. Um, they're definitely not perfect by any means. They have these crappy horn hook couplers. They're from, like, I think the 80s or 90s. They're pretty old. But for being only, like, three, five dollars each, I guess it's some pretty good value. And they have things like sliding doors, some fair paint, detail, stuff like that. So I guess it could be worse. Uh, I don't know if I would, like, run these. I think they're more models that I would use for display. But I do think that they would work really well on display. As for the passenger cars, I kind of have the same thing to say. Uh, this Daylight Coach, or I guess Vista Dome, as nice as it is, yeah, I'm probably going to have to glue that down. So, I'm going to have to do a fair amount of repair on these guys. But hey, um, it's nice to have a bit of a challenge sometimes, right? And at least, I'll give, it, I'll give them this. At least this Southern Pacific Dome car does have knuckle couplers. Or I guess KD couplers, you could say. So, it's much better in that department. And so now... I can run it with my other dome car, which is also currently being repaired. And then, of course, the Santa Fe Pullman. Now, I mean, it, it looks nice. It's nice to have a Pullman, an older Pullman coach like this, but either I'm going to have to make some uh, reparations to this guy or he's basically going to see the sidelines for his entire career. Um, 
yeah, like I said, I don't really think I'd actually run these cars, but they would look good as, you know, background models, so. And especially considering that, um, I got these total, the total amount for all these was about $18. That's, uh, that's pretty, that's pretty good, actually, for four pieces of rolling stock, even if they are falling apart in my hands. But, um, I shouldn't really complain. And also because... Uh, this is not it. This is not the end of my late birthday thing, uh, train thing. Because I'm going to this place called the House of Trains. It's in Omaha, Nebraska. It's a nice train store. I've been there several times. And, um, yeah. So I'm going there several days from now. So jump cut to when I actually go there. One eternity later. Norfolk Southern, watch your function Now I am back with an even bigger haul. That's right, two bags. Two bags of model trains. Beginning quite humbly with Model Rare Birder Magazine. You gotta be up to date. And um, this poking out here, more Unitrack, of course, it was bound to happen. I got some last year, I got some this year. It's like last year, same basement, same music, same presence. More trains and less cringe, hopefully. Anyway, even more track. I'm really getting on the track stuff. A heavyweight Pullman sleeper. Um, which is actually made by a manufacturer which I had no idea existed before this. The Branch Line Trains. I had no idea they existed before this, so that's interesting. And we have even more Unitrack. Big surprise. Wow. A... Another manufacturer which I did not know existed. I think it's C and B T Shops. I think that's what it is. It costs ten dollars, and I should say that the Pullman also costs ten dollars. Uh, Pennsylvania box car. Try not to let stuff fall out like this. So this is another kit. The Pullman's a kit, um, and I'm convinced that the Athern trains were also kits. And like I said, I support both sides because I have my Pennsylvania hood on now. And finally, we have 
some more ballast because my last thing of ballast which I've been relying on since 2020 is almost completely out so I figured might as well get more so this will last me for years to come so that's great so with all that out of the way it's time for some actual unboxing or unpacking or whatever I should probably also mention how I have this quote-unquote new tripod. Obviously, it's not actually a tripod, it's just a music stand. But I don't use it for music anymore, so it's kind of a tripod. And it's a little bit shaky, so if the camera quality is a little bit shaky like that, then uh, sorry about that. So many people enjoyed my previous kit video where I built the Pico Station. Well now, it's time for a double whammy. Two kits, one video. Hopefully this does not absolutely destroy my storage space. And then of course we have the Kato stuff, which I should unbox. So now that I have everything lined up with this, hopefully you can see how much this has expanded my uh, Unitrack stuff. I originally had just these two tracks. This was all I had before. And now I have almost four tracks. And that's not even it, because I also have this Bachman Easy Track, which when put up next to the Unitrack, it doesn't look very pretty, but maybe you can see that uh, the addition of all this really helps with expanding um, a layout. And even better, uh, now I can have more than one operating line. I have the power pack, which I got last year, and this, which I got the year before that in an N scale set, which I didn't do much with. You can see here I have uh, Royal Observer Corpse and Hogwarts Castle. So we are just gonna put both of these in forward, and hopefully you can see this power pack runs Hogwarts Castle and Ha 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 ha! They run independently. Now that I have another terminal section, I can run two tracks independently. Hopefully you can see that. Yeah, I got it. It's hard to control this while controlling the camera, but if I do this, I do this. Ah! It's a miracle I didn't crash those, but you can see that now I have more than one operating line, which can really help make some interesting operational stuff. So this is great. This is amazing. But anyway, as fun as this is, I still have a kit to build. So let's get on that. So I'm getting partway into the build, and I'm starting to understand what I have to do, partially thanks to the instructions here, but... I am realizing that this is going to be a bit more of a challenging build than the last one. Obviously, I gotta put the wheel sets together, the plastic, and this might be partially just because this is an older kit, but the plastic is very flimsy and light, so no walkway, I guess. No walkway on the top. Um, I'm obviously going to need glue for some of this. But um, it's definitely not impossible. I'll work on it a bit. And then I'll get to the Pullman. And just to put my mind at ease, I am still running these. Just glad to finally have multiple operating lines. That's something I've wanted for a while. All right, this is a bit off topic, but I just really want to do this. Let's race uh, Royal Observer Corpse versus Hogwarts Express. Ready, set, go. Oop. And it looks like Royal Observer Corpse won, barely. Anyway, back to the kit. So I'm working on the wheels now. And let me tell you, these heckin' screws, these heckin' screws, man. They're so annoying. I'm, s I'm sorry to sound like a Karen here, but it's just the, the screws are too big. It's hard to fit them in. I just don't know. 
I just don't know. I'm just gonna I'm just gonna push this all aside and work on the branch line kit. That's all I can say. Sorry for the rant. So for some first impressions on this uh, Pullman coach, apparently the box says that this is a Wabash coach, which is nice because if that's the case, this is my first ever Wabash model train thing that I've ever had. And um, it does look bigger than the box car. I mean, no duh, it's a sleeper. Is it a, sl I think it's a sleeper. I don't know, but it's a Pullman coach. I do like how it has some nice interior detail with the seats. And it's got like uh, six wheel trucks. That's nice. So this does seem like a bigger project, but I think just as long as the screws are okay on this one, I should be fine because on this thing right here, I cannot fit on these screws to save my life. But on this, Hopefully it's not like that, so I might as well just get started. Only one way to find out. After a short break and some dinner, I have continued my construction on the Pullman Sleeper, and already I am loving this so much more than the Pennsylvania boxcar. Not only are the wheels already put together, but look at this. It comes with couplers! It's so much easier to put together than the box. Thank you. Thank you so much, Branch Line Models. I love you. You have no idea how, how relieved I am about this. Thank you so much, Branch Line Models. I, I can't believe I have not heard of these people before. It's been several hours now. It's almost 9 p.m. Um, I put in some windows, at least I tried to. Uh, the glue made it very messy, so I went through several windows just trying to make it look okay. And then I put in some of the sleeper car compartments, which I am still working on, but I think I'm gonna call it a day here and work on it tomorrow morning. So, uh, see you then. Tomorrow. I'll start off today by saying that I did sort of manage to complete the Pennsylvania box car. I mean, there are a lot of stuff that, there's a lot of stuff that I didn't put onto it, but I figured just as long as I fix the whole screw problem and manage to actually get it rolling, uh, that worked for me. And I did. It's, it doesn't exactly, you can kind of see it's not much of a free roller, but if that makes sense, but I mean... It's on the track, so I'm just glad I'm done with that. I swapped out the wheel set and the screw, so that was much less of a headache. And, might also, might be worth saying that I fixed the Southern Pacific Dome car, so the shell isn't constantly coming off of the chassis. You can do that. And, best news, I fixed the Santa Fe Pullman. So, its trucks actually look mostly good. I mean, it's not 100% complete, but it looks much better than it originally did, and I'll take that. So, with all this good news out of the way, let's uh, continue with the Wabash Pullman Sleeper. So now I'm working on putting on the wheel sets, another crucial step. I've gotten the first set on, but um, with the second set, I kind of messed up. I was trying to put the wheels on, and they weren't really going in, so you could say that I pushed a little bit too hard. <laughs> yeah, sorry about that. That was a mistake on my part, not the builder. But anyways, fortunately, I do have this Concore wheel set. It's a four-wheel set, so it doesn't exactly fit with the six-wheel, but it works. It does make this coach a little more unique. So, or sleeper. I said coach. I meant sleeper. It makes this sleeper a little more unique. But anyways, you can kind of see that I've uh, had to cut out a little bit of plastic to make the Concor wheel set fit. But I think I'll be able to do it. And after this, there won't be much else until this... This sleeper is ready to hit the rails. I almost said coach again. And after so much blood, sweat, and internal tears, the Wabash Pullman sleeper is...
for the most part, complete. Like most of the kits, I did not put on all the little accessories and stuff. Like, uh, the underbody detail is pretty bare. I didn't really put much down there. Partially just because I wanted to finish with this. This was a bit more exhausting than I thought it would be. Though, like I said, that's uh, more my fault than anything else. I'm still definitely not a professional at kit building, but it's... I've said it before with the Pico Station. It is, there it is back there. But I've said it before with the Pico Station, and I'll say it again. These kits are pretty fun to build, and they are still a very good value. Because, like I said, I got this for $10. So I'm glad that I did this. I would consider getting another branch line kit. I am definitely not getting another CN, CNM Shops kit, whatever it was called. I'm probably not getting another one of those anytime soon. It looks alright, but just a bit too complex and delicate for my liking. But if I were to get another branch line kit, uh, I'm glad that I did this one so I know what to do and what not to do. I would say if you want to do this, um, one piece of advice would be to be very careful with some of the parts. Because obviously... Unlike the station, you're dealing with much smaller pieces here, so since they're much more delicate, uh, you're at risk of breaking them easier, like I did. So, um, yeah, be aware of that. Uh, I'm glad that I'm glad that I was able to get this. Uh, if you lasted this far, thank you for watching. Thank you for all the nice birthday comments, and thank you for the support on the previous kit video. I hope you like this one too.